Hello everyone and welcome back to Shire Farm. As you can see we're uh, cracking on with collecting the last of the straw bales off of the large field 3. Now off camera we have actually done quite a bit of work already. We've uh, finished collecting all of the grass bales off of uh, the other field that we were doing in the last episode. And I thought it would be a good idea just to uh, probably do two stacks already of the uh, bales off this field um, off camera so we can speed the uh, series up a little bit and no one's uh, just watching constant time lapses so hopefully this should be the last of the uh, straw bales off this field and it does mean that we can also take this uh, bale loader back as well to the shop not get charged for another day's rent because that could get quite expensive because as you can see we haven't got a massive amount of money but I think uh, we should be we should be okay uh, that's eight we should have a few more to fill this up to another stack. That leaves us three full stacks. Now I'll show you in a second. Um, we obviously put them inside the silage pits with the grass bales, and then the silage bales are also in the uh, other silage pits as well. Um, I know that's not the best place to put them, but at the moment, uh, without a uh, front loader or uh, a telehandler, that's the best place to put them for us. And I think what we'll do once we've got the sheep, which hopefully all goes to plan should be today actually um, or in the next in this video but probably uh, in the next uh, next day so we shall have to see about that and hopefully 12 this tractor actually does struggle quite a bit with this on board uh, which is quite surprising so 13 we're gonna have a few left aren't we yep as always that is rather annoying, isn't it? So, uh, very well. Well, perhaps a bit full on there. Let's get it back. Let's see on the way back through okay, what we've actually got left. So, back in transport mode. Um, we've got two. So, do as well. Let's put a few lights on. It's getting a bit later at night now, so 10 to 7. Um, like I said, we, we uh, did a little bit of work off camera just to move things on. So, Hopefully in the uh, in the next day, so that'll be September two or the second day of September. I think what we'll do is, I think there might be a couple of contracts to do, so we might do one of those because there is a contract on the next field on one of the fields near the shop. Now, I am probably going to run a few contracts on this series, but not too many. Uh, maybe in the winter, when we've got much work to do. And um, usually, as most people are aware. Um, once you get into farming simulator and you uh, you actually get um, a lot of animals etc then it does mean that you've got a lot more work to do but when you first start, start up and you start to grind it out a little bit um, it does mean that you uh, don't have an awful lot of work to do in the winter and also not much money coming in but uh, hopefully we can get around that with doing a few contracts and bits and bobs let's just drop this here um, can we push it back Without making a mess. Yes. That's a surprise because sometimes I've uh, <laughs> messed that up a little bit on uh, when I've played with this in the past, especially when you've uh, dropped it off and then you've actually left the tractor at a bit of an angle, you've pulled forward, and the uh, back support legs have actually then hit the uh, bale stack on the way out. That does happen quite often with me, I must admit. Um, a bit embarrassing, but I think that one was a bit of a winner on that on that case. So that's good. So let's just get this to the last bow if we can find it. I think it was over here somewhere. Yep, yeah, there it was. So hopefully that's the last of this. And then what we'll do, we'll nip this back to the shop. Um, probably do it in a pine lats. But what we're going to do, I have made a decision when it comes to the sheep. I am going to shell, sell the uh, sheep farm that's already on the map that is in uh, that is near the shop. So I think it's a good idea, and we're gonna we are gonna move it back to this main farm, which is um, actually going to be around this area right here. Sorry, around here because um, that's a good idea. Be that bump there. I need to fix up the uh, terrain tool at some point. That's what we'll do. It's just quickly get this unloaded and then we'll, and then we'll uh, get this back to the shop 
do a bit of night driving, which in the, as you probably saw in the last episode is probably going to be pretty disastrous, since we did get a pretty bad shunt when we were coming out of our other farm um, at the start of the last episode. Let's hope that doesn't happen again, but uh, I look forward to seeing you on the other side of the time lapse, and uh, we'll get to the sheep farm sold. Many thanks. The uh, auto loader, sorry, the, the bail loader returned um, to the shop. So let's just do that now. Actually, that doesn't work. I wonder if it works from this. No, that's the shop shop. Okay. Uh, this one? I'd have to drive it in there, wouldn't I? Um, oh, we'll do it from here instead. So, bail loaders return. Good. Okay. So the second hand use market quickly. Not really a fan of front loaders. Oh, another Lamborghini tractor there. Very nice. I never actually used one of those before. So, okay. Should be, could be an interesting one to buy. But uh, we will crack on. Let's go to the other sheep farm, I think. Over here quickly. And then we will look at selling this over here. Then we'll probably go back. Side. Excuse me, sorry, coming through. Oh well, there was a hedge there. It's actually here, isn't it? My bad. Okay, so let's just go to the construction menu. And 48 sounds nice, pretty good. Sell that, yes, okay, that's good. I think what we'll do now is we're going to time lapse our way back to the farm and then we will see you in the second day of September, start to work on um, a few jobs around the farm and so planning on putting the new sheep barn on the farm itself, getting some uh, water to it and some food and get some sheep started. So I look forward to uh, seeing you on the other side. Many thanks. To September the 2nd, so second day in September. Something I have actually just seen when I was uh, coming out of the farmhouse is for some reason the uh, header seems to want to constantly uncheck itself from that uh, trailer, so I might have to fix that at some point. So, right, um, what I think we'll do, a um, quick check of the chickens quickly, see how they're doing. Oh, yeah, that's the collision on this map. Slightly annoying, but there you go. Wow, lots and lots and lots of grain left still. That's fine. Go on, doggy. Oh, actually, let's see if he's got any food. Uh, let's see. He hasn't. There you go, Todd. He'll devolve back up for you, buddy. Good lad. Right, so, um, as we've um, finished that field now, we've built three, so we've done that. We have obviously got a pretty good stack of um, bales over there, silage, and also straw and grass. So I hope See how these silage is doing if it's actually fermented. 33%, that's fine. Okay, so um, what we were going to do, we are going to put a um, cow, no, sorry, a sheep pen here in this area. I've actually tested it on the uh, on another um, safe game file of this series. So we'll, we'll do that first, I think. So let's see. Oh, first off, we want to use vehicles. Two tractors and a cotton harvester. Nope, definitely not. Not so. 
I've done Cotton before on a couple of, couple of other series. Um, it's good money, I agreed. Um, but and it does keep a tailor shop going for a long time as well. Well, spinnery, sorry, and then tailor shop, obviously. But it does still a lot of money, and they're very, very slow to do. So at the moment, not something we're looking at. So let's look at construction animals. So spinners round. Let's just look at the sheep. Uh, oh, I wonder actually. I wonder if I haven't actually enabled that mod. Oh, okay. Uh, what I will do then is I will uh, cut the video here quickly, and I will uh, go and enable the mod, and then I'll uh, I shall come back as if by magic. And we're back, and this time, hopefully, when we go into the construction menu, and the animals. Hey, there we are. So we now have some additional. So actually, we're probably going to go for this one. Um, yeah, uh, eighty. Obviously, that one's uh, fifty-one thousand, and it gives you twenty-five. This sixty-five thousand, it gives you eighty. So we're going to go for that. Uh, this around a bit. I'm going to eat into this bit of grass here. Better um, get access to it if it were, which we can. Or looks like not. Doesn't need to block anything. Close we can't. Still getting them out of the field. Still getting where we need to be. I think. Yeah. Okay. We got no money now. Looking pretty good though. Happy with that. So, the uh, grass in there, come around here, collect everything, see the animals, looking good, yep. Yeah. Put the water in there. Now there is a place on this map where there is a lake that we can fill up a tanker, so that'll be something we'll do. Um, one thing I have actually seen with this map, again, another little bit of a bug in the construction menu, you can delete these, but they don't disappear. So they, it's pretty... I think it's a little bit of a uh, useless thing to do if you're going to do that. But we have got our sheep, so hopefully we can get some sheep in this game. Maybe in this video. So what I think we'll do now, I'm just going to have a quick uh, chat about our plans moving forward. Now, I actually think this field here, field one, is a really good field to buy and save up for next. It gives us an awful lot of land around the back of the farmhouse and also around here again. I don't think it's a big enough field to actually split, but I do believe it could be a good field to uh, get a good crop in. Um, and then what we can do, my thoughts were, because we have a road coming from the farm out underneath and under the uh, flyover, I think we maybe, in this area here, could use this as putting some more um, animals. Maybe um, the cow, cow barn could go here. Um, it's not too far away from the field. From the, from the farm, sorry, and it just uh, I think it just ties in a little bit. So, with that in mind, I think what we're going to do is get into the tractor. We'll check Mass Ferguson this time. We're going to go to the other farm, which is actually on the other side of the map. We're going to we're actually going to clear um, some of the buildings. Now, I'm not going to be using the farm personally, in my opinion, like in this series, because um, I'm a big fan of trying to keep everything together and I like this layout of this, this farm as it is. So I think we'll do. Go to the farm. So don't crash first. And then we'll do, what we'll do is we'll sell some of the buildings, sell some of the animal enclosures which will reduce our uh, monthly outgoing and also get us a little bit of money back. And get some uh, sheep hopefully. So I shall see you on the other side of the time lapse and uh, we'll start doing a little bit of selling. We are now here at the uh, second farm, 
Um, there's a few things that we want to look at getting rid of. There's the, this here, which I believe is the horse. Uh, it's the horse barn. So we're not going to be doing horses in this series. Uh, I've done it on one or my other series, which I will be showing a video of short, uh, very soon. But it's not something that I'll be doing in this. Um, pigsty, again, something we're going to get rid of. And this pigsty as well. So I think that's a pretty nice farm to us. But I do think it's a little bit out in the middle of uh, nowhere. So. Oh, collectible. The cow. It looks like. Oh, another collectible. It does look like um, anything that's on the main farm, collectible wise, or building, seems to return. So I think there's a bit of a bug in the main farmyard. But when you collect collectibles around the map, they do seem to disappear and don't come back again. So that's a bit of a bonus, isn't it, over there? Okay, so what we'll do, let's get cracked on with clearing some of these. Uh, Animal pens, get a little bit of money back. Oh, another collectible. Nice. A bit more money, not a massive amount. Thousand pound each. I don't think it's a big, uh, a big thing to just collect some of these collectibles up. Uh, it's not going to really change our bank balance that much. So, so go. Sixty-two. That's going to get us some money back. Wow. Okay. Yep. That's good. Pretty much paid for the sheep. Uh, the new sheep farm. So that's good. 81, wow. Sell so that as well. That one, another 81. Fantastic, right. A little bit of money back. That's uh, really impressive. Now, how much is that? 62. I'm going to leave that for now. Um, I think that could come in handy, maybe. Never know. Uh, moving forward. So, we're going to leave that. Let's see if there's any more click tools around. I don't think there is actually on here. Oh, no, there is, there is, there is. Okay, fantastic. Right, let's see if we can. Oh, uh, wow, or cultivator, or whatever you want to call it. Oh, no one there. Okay, looking good. What we might do now then, actually, is uh, I think we should probably pay a little bit of a loan back. <laughs> Since we've made quite a bit of money there. We pay, but we still got 120,000 to actually pay back though, so still uh, quite a sizable amount. So let's probably take this down to under 100. Let's go for 90. I think that'd be good. It's looking good. So well, I think what we'll do now then is let's get back to the, uh, the farm and get cracked on with um, getting some sheep. Oh, what I need to do actually with that, I'm going to have to have a tanker. So, tanker, 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 tanker. So, that's a thank you. So, I think we're going to have to go for the good old Joskin. So, if we go for that, over here, get some water on the way back, and I'll get to show everyone it is on the start. Let's go for that. There you go. Let's buy that. Fantastic. Right. I will uh, get back to the shop. We'll pick up the new tanker. And then we will uh, see you uh, back on the farm. We'll hopefully get uh, some water. Oh, one more click. Oh. Oh. And then, uh, like I was saying, sorry about that. We'll uh, we'll get back to the farm and hopefully get some sheep set up, and then we can start uh, getting back to doing some other jobs. Many thanks. Collecting our new uh, tanker. So hopefully this will be a start of our journey to uh, get the uh, sheep started. What I did notice at the end of the last video in uh, the first day in September, there was actually a contract for the field behind here. Now is it still there? It is. I actually think that a field 38 still. I think so. Yeah. Let's have a quick look. Pretty certain that is field 38. Behind there, it is. I think what we're going to do, we will probably accept that contract 
um, means we just get a bit more money and also we've got sorghum so we might get a bit more money out of that as well so I think we'll accept that we've got our own, all our own equipment for that we'll do that uh, either in this video or in another video let's get this back to the, uh, to the farm and just over the road from where the main uh, entrance for the actual farm is the, uh, there's a, another road to a different farm that has a lake in it so I'm hoping is uh, that we'll be able to take this tanker, reverse it in and then be able to get some water into it so we can then take that to the uh, sheep pen and we can look at uh, getting some sheep even some grass bales as well and there's a thought actually one thing I really think about was maybe putting a front loader onto this tractor and a large-ish weight uh, on, the, uh, on the back as well so we could use this as our loading tractor to move the bales around the farm and anything like that so we've got some silage and that we can put a bucket on the front um, just made a bit of sense rather than spending a lot of money on like a yeah, front loader or a telehandler we can you know, use this a little bit it doesn't mean we get to use the mass folks in our first tractor a little bit more which is always nice um, i always like to try and keep my first tractors on, on my uh, series that i play um, and i think in another series on uh, grasslands i've actually got the first john deere got with the same setup with the front loader and then a big weight and that's the tractor I use for loading up the bales on the field and just move them around to their sheep pen as well so hopefully we'll uh, probably do the same thing with this so we can go down here I believe should be a farm with a lake at the end which means hopefully fill up this tanker with some water now I do know about a mod for um, putting in some pumps, so you can actually put a pumping station next to a, next door to a water source. Um, myself and a friend of mine have got that running on a uh, game that we run on uh, No Man's Land. Uh, I'll be maybe looking at doing that on, on this. We can put one here. But let's see if we can get this back in quick. Don't crash into it. I'm trying to the trees. Yes, it is. Fantastic. That is filling really quick. That's brilliant. So we're not going to have far to uh, get 8,000 or 8 or so thousand litres of water for the sheep and for any of the other um, farm animals we put on. I think the chickens, uh, the chicken coop on that mud also needs water. I can check that. Let's see if we can get out of here without getting too much damage on any of the crops. Can we get round the back of the farm? So hopefully we can. So, it's over 300 litres, my apologies. I think about a different tanker. Yes, we can. Good. That's fantastic. What else? Back onto the road. Um, it does take us back to the uh, new sheep pen. Let's see if we can actually get. Shoot some nice water, ready to start putting them in. Like I say, this is uh, on the left is the field that I'm looking at buying next. Um, like I say, it, I just think it's a, a good one to buy to move the uh, game on a little bit. We can get some more animals in there. We've got another uh, field that we can turn into arable um, for the uh, our uh, subsoil. We can obviously then cut grass, get some silage, and make some money back as well. So that's good. I don't really know why I'm going this way, but I will. But we will do. Let's see if we can get this in. This one. Hopefully, there's that bug there, I must admit. Fantastic. Here we are. Should it take? From the 300s. Okay, and um, we'll have to have a look at that. I'm going to how much we're going to get. So, what we can do now, I think, so grass bells are easiest to access. Do a front loader on this. So, let's uh, time lapse and um, take the tractor to the shop. We're going to put front loader on it and a uh, big weight. And I will uh, see you back at the farm, hopefully, and we shall get. Um, some food into into this uh, area here 
and we're going to get some uh, sheep purchased and get, get going. So, see you on the other side of the time lapse. Many thanks. <laughs> Frontloader attachment we can put on to this tractor. So I think uh, let's customize. Okay, let's repair it as well over here. Okay, let's customize. So what do we actually have? Not from later. Well, we've got who uh, that's okay. Right. Uh, excuse the pronunciation there. I'm sure it's uh, who uh, If I've got that wrong, please let me know in the comments below. Um, it's uh, my fault. So let's see. So, usually I go for a, a quickie, but let's uh, let's change it up. For that, 120, 180, yeah, I guess we're going for that one. So, yeah, so we'll buy that. And let's have a look what we can actually get us by bail hand. Uh, I do like the Bail King, I've used that a lot in quite a few other. Uh, series it's very very good um that's one of the quickie stuff ah that one really like that one actually the bell spike it's a really nice one um the rest of them are just good attention belt support so i think we'll go for our standard one go for 140 go for three times it is a front loader no it's not sorry it's a oh no i've not can i not put that on It's the telehandler front loader. Oh, wait, so I can put on this one. Sure, I can. Do okay, what the times as well. Time because I'm going to go orange. Buy it. Yes, okay. Just double check that I haven't just made a mistake. It wouldn't be the first time. Maybe I have got that one on my on deer on my other series. Got connected. I can do this from the fly actually is the back weight. Ah, good. Goodness. I thought we were going to be in trouble there, but that's fine. So let's get ourselves a weight. Now I think we have to have a pretty big one to be honest with you. Probably eleven hundred Maybe even a 15 actually, that's 1.5 tons, probably about right. I think 2.3 is probably a little bit over the top. Um, 3.3 three is definitely over the top for this size of tractor. So I think we're going for the 1500. Okay, I'm happy with the colour. So, yeah. Okay, so that. Let's get that at the back of the tractor and we can counterbalance when we put in some of the bales down. Let's get this connected and then what we'll do is I will look forward to seeing you on the uh, other side of the time lapse. We can uh, get some bales loaded into the sheep pen. Many thanks. Let's see if we can uh, load up some brass bales and we can actually load up with this weight on the back. I think we need to get rid of this one first. To, to be a good test, actually. So, yeah. Right, okay. That was cool. No, no, no. He was a good load. That's a bit better. Pick up two at a time? It can! Look at that! That is brilliant. So that's pretty good actually, I'm happy with that. One of those there. What I think we'll do is uh, off camera, we'll, uh, well, in the time lapse, sorry, we're going to get this, uh, get some bales loaded, I think, into the uh, sheep pen. 
and get some sheep purchased. So many thanks. As you can uh, see in that last time lapse, we've got some grass now into the sheep pen. So we've got uh, 18,000 litres of food and 7,300 litres of water. So that is really good. So let's get some sheep. Yay, finally. Right, we're going to put in probably about 10 um, fully uh, matured uh, sheep, I think. Uh, oops. Yep, okay. Then we'll put in a few ones that aren't 18 here so put some uh, swiss black brown mountain ones okay i'll put some other ones in there as well for those yep yeah. as well now that is absolutely fantastic we have finally, after talking about it for so many episodes, got some sheep. And um, I've actually also discovered something. Um, the uh, tractor is, <laughs> has actually got a front weight on it instead of a front uh, attach, so a front hitch. So um, in between uh, this video and the next one, I'm going to take the tractor back to the uh, dealership and get that removed. So I think that might help our situation. And then I might look at also adding some rear weights to the uh, wheels and probably putting the wider tyres on as well. I think that's really going to help us when it comes to lifting bales. So uh, thank you very much for joining me and I look forward to seeing you on the next episode.